Hi everybody, this is Meg from Farm Girl Flowers. Today I'm here to show you how to style 25 stems of mixed peonies. We've got a couple of different really beautiful varieties to style today. Once you've unwrapped all of your stems, you'll need to find a vase for all of your flowers. This is obviously a ton of stems. We've got a lot, but a lot of this right now is also the leaves. I haven't processed anything off of the stems yet. So this is actually gonna shrink down once we process everything. So I've got a pretty big vase here. It's got a solid opening, maybe four or five inches. And uh, it's pretty tall because I'm gonna have quite a few stems of peonies. This is gonna end up being a rather tall arrangement. So once you've chosen your vase, you're gonna also want to grab a pair of clippers. Uh, if you don't have clippers at home or garden shears, a pair of sharp scissors in your home will work just fine. And then you'll also want to grab some water because you're gonna fill your vase with fresh water. And if you have that package of flower food that came with your flowers, you can go ahead and add that to your water. If you don't have flower food, that's totally fine. There's a couple of things you can do. You can just put in fresh water, nothing else. You're gonna change your water daily, so that's a totally acceptable option. You can also add a tablespoon of white vinegar, which will just keep the bacteria growth to a minimum and help ensure that your flowers last for as long as possible. Now that I've got my vase and my clippers, I'm just gonna fill my vase with water. I would recommend two thirds to three quarters of the way full. We're just gonna get started with processing all of these peonies. You'll see that they come with all of these crazy leaves on them. That's a great sign that they're super healthy, but you can just snap those off really easily. Just kind of like use your thumb to snap them off. You can keep a couple of the leaves on the top if you want to. It's really nice to have some greenery in between all of your flower stems. You'll notice that when your peonies come, they might not necessarily all look the same size. So I have quite a few that came like this that are almost fully bloomed. They're super beautiful. But I also have some that came in are a little bit smaller. Where's that other one? So something like this is also totally normal. This guy just hasn't bloomed yet. We call this a lollipop stem, uh, meaning it just looks like a little lollipop. This one is actually totally fine, totally normal, and it's gonna bloom a few days after you chop it and put it in water. If you do want to force this to open faster, you can trim the stem short and pop it in some really warm water. You can even place it in a little bit of a more sunny, warm spot in your home. That'll really help this guy to pop open. I'm just gonna leave the small one, the small closed ones as they are because I know that in a couple of days they're gonna pop right open once they get a trim and into some fresh water. I think what I'm gonna do next is actually just get rid of this giant leaf pile because it might be a little bit in the way. That took a while, but once you've processed all of the leaves away, maybe leaving a couple leaves at the top of your stems for a little bit of greenery and foliage, you're ready to start designing. Like any arrangement, I'm always going to be measuring my stems before I cut them. So I'm just gonna hold it sort of against the side of my vase Imagine where I want the height to be, trim it, and then you can always trim it again if you want it a little bit shorter. Obviously you can't make it taller, so measure twice, cut once is the tip here. You can kind of just continue doing that. So give it a measure, make sure it's about the right height, and start filling up your vase. Another great tip is you always wanna make sure that any leaves that are gonna fall below that water line of where your vase is filled up to are gonna be removed. So if there's anything like this that maybe would fall below the water line, you just wanna take that off. The reason for that is that leaves can introduce bacteria into the water and cause more bacteria growth, which obviously isn't very healthy for your flowers. So if you trim those away, you're hopefully having your flowers last for as long as they possibly can. Anything that's really big and open like this one I'm gonna put that towards the front of the arrangement because it's the big sort of showstopper that's gonna be like right in your face when you first look at my arrangement. So I'm gonna put that towards the bottom and also towards the front of my arrangement. 
Another great trick for making sure your flowers can stay as hydrated as possible, cutting with your clippers at a 45 degree angle. So you'll see here, I'm actually gonna trim this one kind of long, but I'm trimming at a 45 degree angle here so that my end of my stem is a little point. And the reason to do that is it increases the surface area on the stem so that more of the, so that the stem can soak up as much water as possible. I'm just gonna continue on designing now. My stems that are the smallest, like the little lollipop heads, I'm gonna kind of leave those looking tall so that they're sort of poking out at the top of the arrangement. Cause I know those are gonna bloom really big in the next couple of days. Peonies are everyone's favorite. I mean, they are a real stunning bloom, right? If you look at how many petals are in this thing, it's just crazy. They have so many petals. They just sort of continue to open and bloom larger. You start with this little tiny, tiny, tiny bloom, and then it just bursts into this huge flower. So peonies are so beautiful. They're a romantic looking flower. They remind us of early spring and early summer. What's not to love? Everyone's favorite. The peonies that I have here are two different varieties that are really lovely. This one is a red charm peony. And then we also have these light pink ones that sort of have a multi-pink tone. Those are called Sarah Bernhardt's. Okay, so I'm still putting my, my biggest stems at the bottom to sort of fill out the bottom, but like I still have a lot of stems here and I gotta make my arrangement a little bit taller. So I'm gonna go ahead and start leaving stems really tall to sort of fill out the top of my arrangement here. As always, every time I add a stem, I'm kind of making an adjustment somewhere else it's evolving as I make the arrangement. So I'm turning it around to look at it from different angles and I'm just making sure that I'm not missing any spots and I'm kind of just always adjusting because every time you add a stem, you know, the arrangement's moving around. So you wanna keep making sure that it's gonna look great from all sides. And the way to do that is just continue adjusting, making changes and just being open to your evolving arrangement. Another thing that I'm doing is sort of staggering the heads of the flowers. So you can see I'm leaving some really tall and then having some a little bit shorter. Some are sort of jumping out at you and some are a little bit deeper into the arrangement. So that's just gonna add dimension and give you a beautiful overall arrangement. So I'm gonna continue adding a few here. So pretty. trimming at that 45 degree angle. If you're finding that you're uh, running out of room for your stems, you can kind of twist the stem a little bit to get it in there. It'll work its way in between all the other stems. I'm continuing to turn the arrangement as I go, making sure I'm not missing any spots on any sides. Measuring and just continuing to turn it. Do my little twisty trick. My grandma grew the best peonies. She has the most amazing peony garden. Just putting in my last couple stems here, it's getting a little squishy in there. Just hard to fit those last few stems in. That's how you know you're almost done. I'm just gonna kind of give it a turn figure out where I need my last few stems to go. I think I might just leave this one tall and put it in the back. You can continue to kind of rearrange your arrangement each day as you change the water. You want to sort of make sure that you can take out anything that is, you know, maybe going past the end of its life cycle and then replace it with some of your blooms that maybe came and they were just in the beginning of their life cycle. So that's the other great thing about receiving the peonies that are at different stages of their life cycle is you'll kind of have this arrangement that maintains over a longer period of time than if they were all arrived and had this like big, huge bloom right away. This arrangement will last longer, which is great. So I think I'm just about done here. 
I've got quite a few stems at the top that are sort of more closed that are gonna open up throughout the next week. And I don't even know what should be the front and what should be the back, but I think we'll leave it like this for now because that looks beautiful. Once you're feeling great about how your arrangement looks, you're gonna wanna find a place for it in your home that's away from direct sunlight and away from any direct heat sources. Flowers actually like a place that's a little cooler and a little more shady once they've been trimmed. Make sure that you find a place in your home that is not gonna be in direct sun. This will help ensure that your flowers last for as long as possible. Another thing that's gonna help ensure your flowers last for as long as possible is changing the water every day. So it's really easy to do that. I'm gonna show you how right now. You just use two hands to grab your flowers and pull them out of your vase. You can get rid of your old water, wipe out the inside of your vase if there's any debris or anything in there, and fill your vase with fresh, clean water. If you have any flower food, if you wanna add a little tablespoon of white vinegar, totally fine, great to do both of those things. You'll wanna trim the ends of your peonies about a quarter to a half an inch, just to make sure that they can stay fresh and soak up as much water as possible. Once you've filled your vase with fresh water, you can go ahead and sort of just squeeze your stems together to place them back inside. Rearrange anything that might have moved around when you trim the stems. Again, you can sort of replace any stems that are closer to the end of their life cycle, remove those and you know, replace them with these ones that may have bloomed a little bit more since they arrived. That'll ensure that your flowers are as fresh as possible for the longest time possible. This has been Meg for Farm Girl Flowers, styling 25 stems of our mixed peonies. And this video will be helpful for any of those products that are mixed single stem peonies on our site. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.